know, like uh, unless. But I did get a rusty key, which is like uh, that is a uh, uh, high currency yeah. in uh, in Silent Hill world. Definitely, unless that's like a police issue wrench. I don't really think you're dressing to be like a chef. Oh no, okay, I got a police badge. Oh, you do. Found in the pocket of some discarded clothes. That's where I got that. And a rusty key. An old rusty key. Can you use that to write um, tickets to hallucinations? I, I hope so. That would be really cool. I also got some, uh, some chatter on the radio. I don't hear it right now, but I heard it moments ago. So, okay, so I'm still following these tracks, which I have been following for a long time now. Man, I'm going to be pissed if I somehow missed a UV light with that sheriff's badge or that police badge. I want that. Are there multiple UV lights in the game? Can you grab it? I don't know. Yeah, I, I think life would suck without the UV light. I really want it. In the worst way. I feel I'm Jonesing. I feel like this is where we were last time in the game. Like going yeah, through. yeah. We we went across the street to uh, to get the power on, and now the power is back on. Yeah. And so now it's time to take a tram. Ooh. I hope. Let's check this place out. Now, um, is is this like a modern looking tram? Or is this like a weird no. rickety tram? I think it's a this weird. Is... <laughs> I think it's like a weird rickety tram. We were here already, but we didn't go on the tram. Um, because I guess there was no power, so what was the point? Free tram ticket. Right. Um, yeah, I don't think you have the UV. Yeah, I don't think you're gonna get the UV light yet. I get a feeling that you're gonna get it when you go, when you after you take the tram. There's got to be like some puzzle where you absolutely need to use the UV yeah. light to solve it, right? There's gonna be a gate somehow. Yeah, I just think the UV light is like the uh, the signature item of the game. <laughs> Did you just get... You got game tokens, huh? Like, is there a skee-ball yeah, machine or something that you can use? Well, I, th I think that's for the tram. Oh. It's like the trolley in Boston, right? Yeah. It, or maybe they maybe they have tokens uh, on the New York subway, too. They, no, not anymore, not anymore. That's not really? Specific. Yeah. They've completely gotten rid of tokens in Chicago and New York for fare cards. It'd be really funny if they had the uh, the chicken machine from Strozek. That would that would be really funny if they had that. What's uh, what's the deal with that? It's it's kind of an infamous scene at the end of the movie, so I won't really like spoil it. But there's but there's in the in the one uh, location they have a machine that's like got a live chicken in it, and it's spinning. It's like spinning around on like a turntable. Um, it's it's sort of like there was um. There was like a there used to be this uh, arcade in Chinatown, in New York City that had like a, a game with a live chicken in it too, just kind of weird. Um, and this this arcade had like the chicken game until like 1998 or 1999 or something like that. It was kind of ridiculous. Um, you know they actually had like a live chicken in the machine. Um, I guess they would potentially like replace the chicken once in a while, obviously. But, um, yeah. yeah. that sounds pretty rough. It's pretty rough. It was, it, you know, like, being a chicken in Chinatown, that's a rough game. Chinatown. So, I've officially lost the plot here. Um, so we did all this shit to get the power on. Yeah. So we could ride the tram. And... There's meant to be a machine that dispenses tickets 
for the and tram. And it's been ripped off. And I think the scrape marks that we were following on the ground are like the trail to the machine. Oh. Okay, that was a that was a jump scare that I should have been ready for. Because I've been around the block a few times. Okay, so, I mean, I was already here. That's where I cranked the crank to turn on the power. But there's also a box that I need to find. It's going to dispense me tickets. I don't, I don't see it. But it's got to be around here somewhere, right? Yeah. Oh, okay, so um, I actually found a picture of the chicken that was the chicken machine that's a uh, tic-tac-toe chicken in Chinatown. So, yeah. uh, from the, that's not there anymore, but, uh, I found a picture of it just for reference. I'll put it in the hangout chat. But, so you can look at it later if you want to. I just shared this. That things. sounds... That sounds great. Yeah, it's okay. Chickens. Playing tic-tac-toe. Chickens. Oh, shit. Okay, here's the machine. Oh, you found it. Cool. I did. Um, oh, wait. That's the machine? The, this is the machine. It's called Jailbreak. What? This is comical. This is... Uh... Okay, weird. So... Oh, it's like literally it's a game. This is, um, I don't know how to describe it. And I'm not entirely sure I understand the objective. Oh, I see it. Now I think I get it. Is it like a pachinko machine? What is it? I don't... I don't know. I think, uh... It's a metaphor. So it's, it's just a metaphor. Yeah. You gotta just get that ball in the hole? I gotta get them in specific... Oh, the green, and then, yeah. What a weird yes. way to get a ticket to ride a fucking Skytram. Sky tram. Yeah, it's kind of excessive. Huh. So you didn't All you right. didn't you didn't go to Rose City Comic Con, did you? No. You know, that's not your scene really. I know Chip goes no. occasionally. Like, but now is he really? Well, he's been. He went to a couple of them in L.A. Like the events. Hmm. I think that was pre-kid too. So you got it. You got if you want to win the lotto, oh, and you got to buy a ticket. That's. <laughs> I believe that. Nightcrawler in theaters next month. Everyone. That's going to be the drive of, of, of next year. Like, you're going to see 
if you go to 4chan or whatever, you're going to see, like, 5 million threads about Jake Gyllenhaal in that movie. So just giving you a preview of, like, what's going to be on the forums next year. Got it. But, you know, I don't I do not do 4chan. I know you don't do 4chan. It's... I don't do 4chan. I don't do Reddit. I don't, I don't do Hacker News. <laughs> Can't. You, I know, you just depend on Chip and I to read Hacker News and just forward you the link. I just, yeah, I just wait for you guys to bubble it up to me. It works, uh, we're, like your, we're like your internet concierge. Yeah. It's a pretty good way to live. You do Twitter, though. You do plenty of Twitter. I do. But again, that's all about aggregation. It's, uh, you know. Yeah, and with Twitter, you can kind of pick. You can kind of choose. It's like it's all about your like curation thing. It's like curated internet stuff. Besides, mm-hmm. it's just like you know, Twitter's just like you know a lot of joke telling, funny, funny stuff, irony, talking about LeBron James, Space Jam. Space Jam. Lot, oh yeah. A lot of talk about Space Jam. I think I think in the future we might have to do um, if if we can get Chip in on it we could do Barkley shut up and jam Gaiden. That's not a bad idea. That would actually be a pretty fun game to do. Chaos dunks. So when Spider Man gonna like cop out with Tram like? <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. Okay, so we've got a new objective now. And uh, if I read that right, the objective is find a way into town. It sounds like going the wrong way, Murphy. You want to go out of town. Yeah, I think I think towns where all the bad shit happens. Yeah. I would say that in the you have a better chance of uh, away from demons. Oh yeah, but but in his journal he's saying that he's taking the advice of uh, the mailman, which doesn't seem like a good idea to me. Yeah, I I don't. That guy he seems kind of sketchy. He didn't have a um, he didn't have a vehicle. <laughs> no roads, man. I really need a better weapon. This rake just isn't going to work for me. It'd be funny if, like, the other options were, like, leaf blower, um, weed whacker. Just trying to fight Pyramid Head with, like, a weed whacker. That would be, a that would be kind of an interesting scene in and of itself. But I guess Pyramid it's Head's kind not of, in this um, game. It's like a Dead Rising kind of situation. Yeah. I'm so torn. Gotta combine. I'm so combine the lawnmower with the uh, car battery. Yeah. I'm so torn here? about Sunset Overdrive because I really oh. want it to be like a good game because I think it's like kind of a goofy concept, but it's on Xbox. It's a, it's like an exclusive. There's no way. So what's what's the deal with Sunset Overdrive? It's, I don't I don't remember reading about it's it. It's like a it's it's like inspired by Jet Grind radio series. Oh. Yeah, it's sort of a spiritual successor by Insomniac, mm-hmm. um, but it's published by Microsoft, so it's like an Xbox One exclusive. But it's got like it's really colorful. It's got like goofy kind of like par like quasi parkour vehicle goofiness kind of stuff. It's got it's very like out there. It's kind of like I would say maybe Borderlandsy a little bit. But I, I know Chip likes Borderlands, but I don't, I don't know what I don't know what your feeling is on it. Um, yeah, I'm not a fan. Yeah, but it's kind of more like I, I don't know I don't know if Borderlands is like the right comparison. It's more like the Jet Jet Grind Radio Future or one of those games, um, which were very popular back in the day for us old farts. Um, so or not really popular, but like influential, I would say, in how they actually designed to, you know like we're designed and everything so it's kind of like that um the, the trailer looked pretty good so i'm kind of like thinking that i'm thinking that the thing is like sunset overdrive or like 
you know, when they make Maximum Sunset Overdrive, it'll be like a PS4 game, because exclusives are definitely on their way out, like, at least with sequels and everything, like, yeah. you know, like, you won't see, like, Titanfall 2 is going to be on the PS4. They've already, like, discussed oh, really? it. Like, they're saying, like, we're, we we kind of screwed up by making it a exclu- like, EA or whatever thinks they kind of screwed up by making it exclusive. So, you know. Well, you know, PS4 has been selling a Like, hotcakes. Like, digital plastic hotcakes. Yeah. Thank you, Sony. Thank you for making a console that's not a spy box. Yeah, it's a it's a magnificent <laughs> piece of hardware. It's also, I really enjoy it. It's also very aesthetically pleasing to have it in your in your house. <laughs> it's it's like very um, it's very futuristic. It feels it feels kind of futuristic on your, you know, because it's so angular, and uh, it doesn't you know, it it just it just feels like it kind of was dropped in from space onto mm. your entertainment system so so anyway back to Silent Hill so you're still you're still in this building right like looking around to knock this down. yep I am using a crowbar to clear some planks of wood off of a door which is cool is that crowbar or an axe or did you switch to a crowbar it's uh so there's a toolbox over here. Oh, so you switch that I think is spawning crowbars. Oh, spawning. Yeah, I see. You got the crowbar now. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just gonna remember that because that's pretty cool. Is the, does the crowbar basically have the same functionality as the wrench? It looks like I don't know. I mean, so only certain weapons will break boarded up yeah stuff um and i guess only certain weights of weapon can be used to bust padlocks i don't know got it those are both the same thing or or what you know the 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 item that keeps coming up later on in the game is the fire axe that's the uh the thing that everybody's crazy for yeah Um, okay, so I'm walking around in a loop now. I clearly missed something. I don't know. I think maybe tonight there there hasn't, because there hasn't been as many cutscenes as there were when we were playing last time. Maybe the yeah. cutscenes were a little bit more dramatic. It feels like it's kind of very much like a... You know, I, and we did start from the beginning, so it is very much like a welcome to the world of Silent Hill kind of time, I think. So, because it seems like there are tonight's a little bit more just like oh, you think, trying to, yeah. You think we're still. So, what I'm hearing is I should just pick up the pace. I should, I should move with a little more confidence here. And, uh,. Got a got a key. That's gonna be handy. I don't remember. Oh yeah, there was a locked door, wasn't there? Right at the start, up in the uh, in the tram station. So so that was it. The whole gig was get a crowbar, break some boards, and then get a key. So. Great to uh, solve that puzzle. So you're in the electrical room. Are you out of the electrical room now? Yep, I am uh, back in the tram station. What do we got here? We 
We got some uh, some tourist information postcards. It's looking cool. Here is a map of the uh, tram system, I guess. The Cave of Tears. The Cave of Tears. Yeah, that's uh, that's an attraction. That's, that's nearby, that sounds I like guess. a really depressing attraction. Like, come to the here? beautiful Cave of Tears. Cry, in the t in the Cave of Tears. Okay, so we've got a little. A little legend, legend here. We've got uh, paths, caves, underground track, buildings. We've got the aerial train station, Silent Hill hillside. What else? Diner. Okay, we've been there. Midgets. I don't see that on the map. Okay, just I I, I was just guessing. Supply cave. <laughs> that sounds. That sounds pretty interesting. Yeah, I would I would think that there would be some supplies in there. <laughs> okay. So we got a cutscene. Oh. I'm trying to remember. I think that coming up here in a minute, we're gonna see this creature that I have no idea how to kill. Did you did you did kill it previously, or I've I've fought them and I've killed a couple, but usually it's uh, it's costly. Name's JP. Yeah. Meters straight down they look to the like uh, the abominable snowmen, the but, but like, they crawl around on the ceiling. Like the friendly kind of abominable snowman from the Rankin Bass. Uh, I don't know. Uh, do you remember that Looney Tunes character that was like um, Sweetums, the red guy? Uh, yeah, maybe. I'll send you a picture. But there was like there was like no, I, I know who you're, who you're talking about, but I'm trying to remember if he was different. Or not. This was like uh, like a big There's mutant a version of Tweety Pie. Really like a like he, Tweety occasionally would get mad. Sorry. Right? Like wouldn't yeah. would he like Hulk out? He, I think Tweety did have kind of like a Hulk mode. Yeah, maybe. Tweety Bird. Uh, Hulk. No, that doesn't work. Tweety Bird. Rage. <laughs> you show me sorry yeah I think he I think he did kind of have like a um thanks for the tip well anyway this monster I don't know what it's called it's big it's white it's got weird claw hands and I kind of convinced myself at some point that the white like like it had a coat of feathers on it yeah I don't know that that's true. Um, supposed... I just know that it's super creepy and impossible for me to kill yeah. at my current skill level, which is whatever. Is it supposed to be like a Wendigo or something? I don't know what that is. I think it's Wendigo is kind of like a Yeti, but it's like a weird Indian Yeti. I think that fits. I mean, you know... Uh, Where'd you say that train is again? They were talking about the Native Americans living in these the parts. Yeah, they a Wendigo think, uh, is more like a demon thanks. that um, that's a cannibal demon. Wow. Yeah, it's not really a like hairy. I think it's a. Uh, I always get confused with like the Wendigo for some reason because I don't know why.
What I really want is to pick up a map of this place. I don't I don't think they're gonna give me one. They're gonna make me use the uh Oh look at that. A map of this place. <laughs> but not at the detail level that I really want. Well, whatever. It's not like knowing where I am is really going to help my situation anyway. Um, yeah, on second thought, I don't really know if Tweety had like a Hulk out mode. I'm trying to yeah, like... Yeah, that was probably just my imagination. Yeah, I'm thinking like... There maybe was a Warner Brothers character that had something similar, but I'm drawing a complete blank on it. But yeah, I, you know, the, the character you were talking about was like a big red hairy thing. Yeah. Right. And this thing, I remember being yellow, which is why I was assuming it was a Tweety related. Yeah. It's kind of funny. these ladies cause me so much trouble. I don't know, man. Murph just has a way with, with the ladies. Oh. I'm not going to finish them off. Yeah, see, I know you're probably behind me, but this is one of these spaces that just doesn't make sense to me. It's a, there's a building with a door, and you walk in the door, and it's just one small room, maybe 15 foot square. Yeah. Like, what is that? That's nothing. That's like something you'll see in a video game, specifically Silent Hill game. It was a room to spawn a single monster, is what it was. <laughs> um, well, you know, I guess that was probably like a storefront or something. Like a little... It was a storefront run by monsters for monsters. Yeah. So, standing out here, oh my god. I don't know what just happened, but I died. For real. That's uh, kind of weird. 